Hello and welcome Scorpio. Now I noticed something. I have a sprained leg and I have to go and put the bloody phone, uh, um, phone on to record and I'm getting slower. <laughs> so <laughs> the next reading will very likely be just you sitting here and then a minute later you go, oh, <laughs> it is what it is. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. This is your November 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak and my friend and guest reader Jane Arnold. Hello. Welcome and welcome back. I should say you've been on this Thank channel you. for a yep. long time, I think six, seven times already. Yep. Um, so if you're new here, you know, you missed a lot because she's bloody awesome. Speaking of bloody awesome, so am I. <laughs> so if you want to have a reading that goes beyond the general reading, because general readings are general, so they might not necessarily resonate with all of you. When it, whatever resonates is for you, leave the rest for someone else. But if you wanted to have a personal reading with either myself or Jane, Jane and myself, see I'm from Frankfurt, we always go, I go always first, so it's like one of those really rude things. Right? Jane and myself, you can book that, and all the information about Jane and about your mind uh, is in the description box below. What we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look at your emotion course, see if there's love coming in, um, healing that needs to happen, and then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023. Speaking of November, I have a special offer for uh, you guys um, that is just valid in November. You can get an astrology report, um, which is about, you know, why did I come here? What do the planets tell me, you know, when I was born, you know, it takes a snapshot, becomes a, becomes a birth chart. Um, so it gives you an awful lot of answers about how you tick, what your, your lessons are that you came here to do, if that makes sense. It's very, very inf informative um, and um, they become quite um, popular around Christmas time. So I thought I'm going to give you 10% off if you book it in November. Um, and there's a dedicated video on this very channel that talks about what I need and what else is involved here. So I'm not going to bore you with that crap. And you have already a picture on the screen here for that. Just thought I mentioned this. And now, are you ready? Perfect. And now we're going to look at the um, overall energy for the sign of Scorpio for the month of November 2023. Well, what can I say? We have the Heart Chakra and See Only Love, two powerful, powerful cards for you for November. So how we will look at this, if you are in a relationship, wow. Um, everything is, is looking really, really good and really, really promising. Obviously, we can't see 10 years down the line. We're just looking short for now. So people coming back saying, you told me 10 years ago. Um, at don't, the moment, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, it's, everything is going, going really, really well, really swimmingly. Um, enjoy, because there's enough times when we don't have that. If you're not in a relationship and you would like a relationship, get yourself out there because there's a lot of love out there waiting to come in for you Scorpio people um, it's just just open your heart and and let it come in and with it being a powerful number November 11 it's just it just all feels really strong and I want to say just enjoy just yeah enjoy. And, and please do yourself a favor and don't make this about appearance or age because as a sign Scorpio you are depicted by a scorpion and the scorpion has the biggest fight or flight response of all the animals in the zodiac. Right? Mm -hmm. Here's why this is important, which is why here's why it is important for you to go out there, show yourself. The problem that Scorpio ever always has when it comes to manifesting love, you know, getting love in and manifesting love is really important here, is that because of your energy, you sometimes, because you have a fight or a flight response, Waiting for a knight in shiny armor does nothing because you could still run away, right? Yeah. So, so there is this part of I want to be loved, but and I want to attract it. This is not in the nature of scorpions. Uh, you, you're much better off making the first move, even though it is less romantic. And here's why this is important: your depiction is the scorpion, and because there is an energy to that constellation which makes up your energy, your imprint. The Scorpio is as follows. The taller the Scorpio, or the Scorpion rather, the taller the Scorpion, the larger the pincer. 
The larger the pincer, the less venom it has. And for Scorpio, therefore, the earlier you speak up, the earlier you let yourself uh, be seen, um, the easier to get to where you want to go. Right? So unfortunately for Scorpios, um, being one of many, being in the crowd waiting for, um, will I do this or not, uh, by default, energetically speaking, doesn't quite help you. Right? So, you know, rejection is also a normal thing. If you want to go somewhere and you say, something, I saw you from across the room, can I buy you a drink and you say, the fuck off. Right, you save some money. <laughs> you know, you can't help this. The point is, not saying how you feel is the problem. It is very difficult for you just to be somewhere where people come to you. And the downside is, because it's a trust thing, especially when you're a bit, little bit younger, um, you will have 10 people coming up to you, can I buy you a drink, love? Right? So, so the problem that you have is that you don't trust eventually. And I just want you to be aware that in your imprint, when you're not sure where it's going, you sometimes bolt. When your real strength is to say like, I am Scorpion, I'm Scorpio, let me just tell you what we're doing here. <laughs> you know, have to put the reins in, if that makes sense. You know, be in charge sounds a bit wrong, but that is the nature of Scorpio. And, and what that also means is that you attract needy people, whether or not you want to or not. <laughs> so when it comes to relationships, understand that being in the wings um, is not what, what um, Scorpio does well, right? So, you know, be brave, be out there, right? And always understand you're gorgeous, you're awesome, right? I mean, there's another thing that I always say to people, if you have, if you have empowerment um, phrases that you can use, really, really important. Now, since this is November, um, I had planned to record 30 episodes every day for November um, with empowerment phrases and all that kind of stuff. I managed eight, <laughs> but at, at least I made eight. One of them that comes up on the seventh is about having a cuppa and on the mug it says, you know, um, another dream, another day, that kind of stuff. You empower yourself while you're having coffee or tea. Point is, there are also videos that help you with self-empowerment on that channel, um, uh, eight of them, different topics uh, every day in November. Uh, I haven't mentioned this in all the other videos, videos yeah. um, it, but it kind of came up here, so to speak. Yeah. Right? So the downside with you is that you always have to be a bit more proactive, which sort of takes away the, you know, I would like to be explored here. If that makes sense, right? But this is your imprint. Okay, because we do believe that you you decide when you're being born to and to whom. And so you choose your zodiac, you choose your star sign, and you choose that imprint of being that person. That if you want something, you go out and you get it. Right? It's not supposed to be a hindrance, right? Be your bloody awesome self. I have that little thing, don't don't uh, report me, but I always I have that for, for my for my clients this year. It says I'm a fucking legend, doesn't it? And I have, have had a lot of people that sort of have problems with it. They put it next to their computer, so the boss stuff talks, stops talking to them. If you just woke up in the morning and go like, I'm a fucking legend, it would crack you up. And if you are more lighthearted, you have less problems trusting. Just saying this to you, really, really important. Um, you can't buy this. This is just for people that meet me in person, if that makes sense. And it's not very nice, you know. It cracked me up when I wrote it. Anyway, I don't fucking report me, it's just fun. Okay, in any case, um, just wanted to mention this. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, is it my turn now? Yes, sure. Yeah, okay. Yes, now, sure. there, there's not all that much here uh, because they just gave you that speech. <laughs> the point is that you have the energy of Taurus and you have the energy of Sagittarius. Um, so they're giving you two other signs to understand that with your sign, then there's a trinity. And trinity is alignment. Allow yourself to be as aligned as you can possibly be. Again, it has to do with self-empowerment. Now you have Taurus. What that means is by default, which is also an imprint of Scorpio, you would like something that lasts, please. Right? Now, remember, if you're a person out there that kind of goes like, I'm going to shake 10 people on the, in the weekend, good for you. Right? Just make sure you get yourself checked every now and then. The point is, there is no judgment coming your way. But it is not in your nature to be a wild card because eventually you will feel really isn't for me. As nice as this is, if that makes sense, can be very exciting, so I hear, <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily help your imprint. You are by default a deep sign and therefore you are a sign that doesn't share with everybody and they have to deserve you first. If that makes sense, right? So so Taurus, the energy of, of, of the bull, you know, is about, you know, let me be protected here. 
if that makes sense. So, you know, be yourself and people will, will respect you. Really, really important. And then ultimately, you have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the sign of the archer, the guy with the bow and arrow. And what that means is, <clears throat> because again, this is about relationship, this is not about healing this month. If you want a relationship, you decide with how much emphasis you go after things, right? Hence the arrow, you know, you have to decide how strong do you actually shoot the bloody thing, right? For, for you to hit your target. So you have to allow yourself um, to give it your all, no matter what the outcome is. So don't try to be clear about it. And when you feel, oh, I'm seeing the first sign of, of, of difficulties, I'm not going to do it. It's not working for you. You know, you just go like, this is where I want to go. Shoot the arrow. Don't shoot the arrow. You know what I mean? This is just symbolism. <laughs> I, don't, I just want to make sure they're not going around. <laughs> Shit. I just shot my law of my life. Stop yeah, like, <laughs> stop but you understand that you, in, in the depiction here, you have, you have the Sagittarius. The reason why this is so important is because Sagittarius as an energy is also the wounded healer. What that then means is remembering all the shit you've been through will not help you manifest a new situation where this isn't happening. Right? So if you are still affected by a lot of stuff that happened to you in a relationship, then you have to be upfront. It's less romantic. But if you say to someone, look, I'm damaged goods here, right? Welcome to the club, right? Um, and so therefore, let me guide you. I'm telling you exactly how we do things and at what pace. I tell you what, you know what the other person says? Okay. Because they have not bloody notion what you mean. The point is they will not block you. If you are uncomfortable with things, then don't let them do whatever the heck they think you want. Um, if you feel, you know, I want to take this slow, just state it. Right? You're a Scorpio. Right? <laughs> Nobody messes with a Scorpion. Mm -hmm. But you understand the concept. This is all about you understanding that the people that want to be with you are perfectly aware and fine and prepared to take this at your pace. And this is important because your imprint has the strongest fight or flight response. And it is time that whatever is coming here, sounds a bit weird, lasts. Or at least goes much deeper than you probably have had for quite some time, if that makes sense, right? So what I'm not getting here, again, it's a general reading. What I'm not getting here is to talk to people that are in a relationship. This is all about new encounters, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? That's why I always say the same thing. It doesn't necessarily resonate. Now, the point is the guides gave me two cards. One has the number two, the other one has the number nine. Nine and two is 11. 11 is the number of November. 11 is the highest master number. So what they're saying is, you know, you carry yourself well, you tell people what it is you want, um, in that strength that the, that the month gives you, you're going to be fine, right? So go out there, you know, back yourself, whatever it is you want. What the guys give me as an image, they work with what is in my head. And I haven't watched that, 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 that movie probably in 20 years. There's a movie, um, the second Conan movie, from the from the early, not the first one, the second one, yes. Conan the Destroyer. Destroyer. Yeah. Anyway, um, what's her name? Um, slave to the Rhythm. She sang. There's, a, uh, there's an actress in there. Grace. Grace. Grace Jones. Yes. Anyway, so there is this person that is a virgin and has to go somewhere, stay intact. If that makes sense. Really weird story, right? Early eighties. <laughs> and um, anyway, so she has a crush on Arnold Schwarzenegger, and so um, she obviously doesn't know what to do with men. So she says to Grace Jones, remember, this is about your reading, this is what they give me here. So they're asking Grace Jones, what do you do when you, when you like a man? And she goes, grab him. And everybody's a bit scared because she says it that way, right? The young woman has no idea what to do with that energy, but that is the energy and the symbol and the scene from that movie that I haven't watched in for bloody ever. They give me Grace Jones saying to you, grab him. Take it for what, for what it's worth. Right? Yeah. So I always notice when the guides give me scenarios that I have seen before, that's the way they ask me to, to say that to you. So I'm not asking you to now have a Conan night. I, I'm a big fan of Schwarzenegger. I'm not paid by, by, by Arnold Schwarzenegger or any of the movies he did. This is not about Arnold Schwarzenegger or Grace Jones. But the energy here is about I go out and I grab what I want. Okay? So... That's all that. <laughs> and now we're looking at um, opportunities, as the presenter says to you, in the month of November yeah. 2023, for your very sign. Cupid. 
Yeah, you can't make right, that shit up. It's you? amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to show you. So you have the Cupid, best card in the deck, and you have what do you desire? Yeah. Very yeah. short and sweet, really, Thomas. It just flows yeah. again. Opportunities, love life, love coming into your life. The opportunities are going to be there. If it's what you want, choice and decision card, but why wouldn't it be? Because Absolutely. that's what life is about, the world Absolutely. is about, it's about love. So, yeah, and also as remember, Grace says, grab, grab it. Him, grab him. <laughs> but the point is also, when they bring it up in the reading, the reading obviously is about the time, and it is about November. Mm -hmm. So it would be, it would be silly not to act on it, yeah. if that makes sense, right? Uh, that's another right important time. thing, right? It's the right time, you yeah. know. Um, I know this is about guys, they don't do small talk, they don't right. talk about stuff that is not relevant, even though the weakest part is always us because we, we just work here. So, whatever the guys say, sometimes they're kind of like, really? You know, like, yeah. like now all of a sudden they're getting this cone and stuff, right? I mean, you know, you have to first put it in context. So, so <laughs> I'm sure there's easier ways, right? I like it. Though. You know, it's just the way they are, right? Yeah. So, you're going to be fine when you, you kick ass self. That's what I'm getting. Grab them. Yes. This also works if you want to grab her. Right? So I know nobody because you know what we're talking about. So this yes. is not, this is yes. not about, uh, I'm not getting this. This is just for for women here. Now, if that makes sense. Right? So that's all we got this month. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I do love coffee. It would be really much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you. See Enjoyed you in the next month. Bye. Bye-bye.